day of a second suspect in a shooting that injured four college students in southwest Atlanta. 11 Alive's Rebecca Lindstrom live at APD headquarters. And Rebecca, it's been more than a week since the shooting outside the Atlanta University Center. And I, I think it has been a surprise by a lot of people wondering why no one's in custody. Do they know the shooter here or does that remain a vexing mystery at this point? That remains a mystery. and We've actually moved over closer to the campus, hoping to talk with some of those students, get a sense for how they're feeling about all of this, because police, they're being quite frank about it. They are frustrated. They say they're just not getting a lot of help with this investigation. As you mentioned, they released that first video more than a week ago, and still we do not have an ID on that suspect, and that is why they have released a second video, a chilling video, because in this case, you actually see both suspects at the same time. If you look in the lower right hand corner, you can see a man walking into the frame. He's wearing a black jacket. He's got a thick white stripe on his sleeve. And as he's walking, you can see him almost making eye contact or looking back at another man who is sitting on a bench wearing a baseball cap. Police say that just moments after this clip that they provided to us ends, that is when the shooting begins. Police have been here on campus. They have been passing out flyers and students say they just don't know who these two are, which is making them believe that these two are not students. And that's why they say they want to get these videos out to a wider audience. The images are pretty clear. You know, we, we're hoping somebody can see them and say, I know he wears that jacket. I know he wears that hat. You know, I know I can see by the mannerisms, by the way he walks. That's someone I know. Now, the two suspects are accused of shooting into a crowd of about 200 people. They were here celebrating the start of school at Clark Atlanta, Morehouse, and Spelman. APD is saying if you recognize either of them to give them a call, there is now a $5,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. Back to you. Thank you, Rebecca.